My friends, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Outdoor Gear Review. Today, what I have here is the Nature Hike Ultra Light Sleeping Pad. I've been testing this out for a while. Is this a good product? No, not really. It has some serious problems. It's kind of expensive. And in the end, it's not that comfortable. Plain and simple, it's not that comfortable of a sleeping pad for the money. In this episode, I'll be going over the pros and cons of this pad, agenda free all the way. And we might as well get started. So let's go over some stats for this sleeping pad. First off, the retail price of this is $70, but you can find this on Amazon at the time of filming for 50 bucks. This is available in two colors, blue and gray. The materials, you're looking at a 40 denier nylon with a TPU coating. The weight of this bad boy is 2.1 pounds, so it is quite heavy. Is it ultralight? No, no it's not. When it is stowed, you're looking at 12 inches by four and a half inches. So this is a good size sleeping pad. In your hand, this feels like a brick. It really does. It is quite substantial. If you go out to purchase this pad, this is what you receive. The storage bag, a repair patch, and you receive the sleeping pad. Now this is not your ordinary sleeping pad. This is a double sided sleeping pad. Air mat. If you're not familiar with these sleeping pads, they're nothing new. Double-sided sleeping pads have been out for a long time. I think they're kind of gimmicky myself, but opinions vary, right? Think of this sleeping pad as having a divider in the center. On each side of that divider is a sleeping pad. Each one has its own air valve, and you can inflate either one side or the other side or even both sides. Think of it as having a backup of sorts. That's really the marketing material behind a double-sided sleeping pad. Let's say you take your pad out, you puncture one side, you can inflate the other side and continue to sleep. That's the thinking. When it comes to this sleeping pad, there's two ways to inflate it. You can inflate all of one side or the other, or you could partially inflate both sides. To get the best results, you need to inflate both sides partially. To do so, it takes about seven breaths, 14 in total. If you want to inflate one side on its own, it's about 10 breaths. Now to start off here, I will inflate just one side to show you all what it's like. Before I finish this up, you need to know that this is a multi-way valve. First off, you can open it up completely. All of the air will escape. You can close the first valve and the air won't. It has a stopper in it. Then you can continue when you're ready. So there you go. Fully inflated, again, 10 breaths. You can see that this side is fully inflated. The other side, the valve is completely open. Each side is independent from each other. And that's what makes a double-sided sleeping pad a double-sided sleeping pad. With this sleeping pad features a honeycomb design. Again, this is not unique. This is how most double-sided sleeping pads are. It shares in the same design. When it's fully inflated on one side, the corners bunch up. It tightens up the material. And that's because as the pad inflates, it also shrinks. I've mentioned already that you can inflate this in one of two ways, all of one side or partial on both sides. When you inflate one side 100%, the honeycombs, the honeycomb design here is very uncomfortable. It simply does not provide enough cushion for you to be comfortable. You can lay on this any way you want to and you will push into the ground. I'm 160 pounds and my butt is pushing right into the ground, right into the dirt. As I rotate and move around, my bones are pushing right into the ground. It is very, very uncomfortable. And again, that's with one side fully inflated. The company's claims, as far as size goes, the measurements for this pad are not accurate. The company claims that it is 76.7 inches long, 24.4 inches wide, and it offers a cushion of 3.1 inches. None of these measurements are correct, and it doesn't matter if you inflate one side or both sides. This pad is 75 inches long. It is 23 three quarter inches wide, and it offers a cushion of two and a half inches. In the grand scheme of things, these measurements aren't off that much, but they are off. The company was being way too generous with their measurements, and they're simply not accurate. Talking about inflating the pad one side or both sides, the funny thing is this. Again, the company speaks of inflating just one side, but the pad's not comfortable. So I reached out to Nature Hike, I asked them about this, and they said, oh no, you're supposed to inflate both sides equally. I had to reach out to the company to get that information because it's not stated on the Amazon listing or on their website. Now everyone, let's go ahead, release the air, and let's inflate both sides. This here is both sides partially inflated 
and you can see that it gives you a much better fill. The dimensions are the same, but it doesn't warp up in the corners like it did before. Sitting on the pad with both sides inflated, the overall cushion does not change. So again, my butt is going right into the ground. But when I'm laying down, my butt is maybe like half an inch from the ground. And again, I'm 160. On my side, I'm hovering above the ground as well. I can move just a little bit and I could feel my hips pushing right into the dirt. Without a doubt, everyone, this is the way to go. You need to inflate both sides if you have this pad, as it will be more comfortable. Again, everyone, I weigh 160. If you weigh more than me, the issues with this pad being uncomfortable will be more substantial. If you weigh less, they will be less substantial. Now that we've gone over all of that information, we've taken a look at the pad, let's go to the review, starting with the pros. First off, the overall quality of this is good. The construction's good, I've had no issues. The materials are good, even though they are heavy. The next pro for this pad are the two-way valves. They work very well. You can release all of the air in a matter of seconds, or you can inflate it very easily. Inflation doesn't take that many breaths. As far as comfort goes, I should give it some credit. It's not the most uncomfortable sleeping pad ever. You do get roughly two and a half inches of cushion. That's not bad. I tell you though, that's a lot of weight to carry for that little cushion, two and a half inches. Now everyone, let's move over to the cons, and that is size. This pad is good for individuals who are six feet and under. There is no larger version. In my opinion, that's a con. If you're under six feet and you want this, you're set. If you're over, it's not going to work. Next up, Nature Hike loves to refer to this pad as being lightweight, ultra light. It's anything but that. This is a heavy pad for two and a half inches of cushion, weighing over two pounds. This is a substantial sleeping pad. Also, inside of your backpack, it takes up quite a bit of space because in its stowed form, it's large. It's about a foot long, four and a half inches wide. Allow me to put the weight of this pad into perspective for a second. Nature Hike has tents that weigh less than this here. They have one person tents that weigh less than this sleeping pad. Going back to the comfort topic, no matter what you do, you will be touching the ground with this pad, so do keep that in mind. So if you're someone who really wants to be off of the ground, this is not the pad for you. No matter what, some part of your body will touch the ground, even with both sides inflated. Another con for me is the amount of time that you will waste inflating this mat. You have to get the mat out, right? You have to unroll it. You have to close the valve, inflate, close the valve, inflate. There's just too many steps with this pad. Instead of just getting the mat out, opening the valve, inflate, close, done, you have to do all of those steps. So there's just too much fiddling around with this mat. Too much wasted time, in my opinion. I wanna set up my pad, I wanna get my tent ready for the night, and then I wanna go do something else. I wanna go look at the mountains, watch the sunset. I don't wanna spend all that time inflating this pad, especially when it's not that comfortable. To wrap this up, everyone, do I recommend this product? No, I don't. For the money, this is expensive. The double pad aspect, in my opinion, is a gimmick. Over the last 10 years, I've had two leaking sleeping pads. One developed a hole after maybe three or four years of use, and I was able to patch it, and I still have it. The other had a defect. That's it. For the most part, everyone, your air mat should last you a very long time. As long as you're not dragging it through a briar patch, you'll be fine. If you have hiked the AT twice with your sleeping pad, it might be time to consider a new one. You should be worried about it developing a hole by then. But for the most part, sleeping pads, air mats are very strong. They will last a long time with good care. And because of that, I simply do not see the need for a double-sided sleeping pad. It really is more gimmick than a useful feature. For this review of the Nature Hike Ultralight Sleeping Pad, that is it. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about this pad? Is it worth $70? Is it worth 50 bucks? Do you feel that the double-sided aspect is worth the wait, worth the trouble? Make sure to let me know down below. Everyone, that is it. Hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. Support if you want to. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, take care. Strength and honor. Be well. Oh, by the way, folks, I'm not trying to be hard on Nature Hike. I know I gave a bad review to one of their backpacks. It simply was not a good product. And this product here is simply not that good either. There are better products out there for the money. With the channel, I'm agenda free. I'm not trying to sell anything. And I state it how it is. If it's good, I say so. If it's bad, I say so. That's it. So Nature Hike, I have no problem with them. I just let the products speak for themselves. So the backpack, the 60 plus 10, wasn't any good. This pad, it's not very good. <music>